So Miles and I for the weekend are headed to KOA in Union, Illinois. So we have stayed here, it's our third time here, and it's really a ni the nice, it's a nice KOA. So it's one of the nice KOAs. We'd like to come back. Um, it's a little after, I think the gate closes at like six, six of the office. So when we get there, our packet with our key card should be waiting up front. Um, it's a very clean KOA, a secure KOA, but we've stayed here, as I said, it's our third time here, so. Do you usually, when you arrive there before 6 p.m., uh, there's a KOA staff that will assist you to go to your uh, site? But since it's already past 6 and you're past 7, almost 8 o'clock, so. You still have to go. Here's the KOA Holiday in Union. We're entering the campsite. And you could see here are the cabins, the tent. I don't know if you could see it. But wow, uh, we just have to stop by the registration office. Wow, uh, we don't know. We're not sure if it's still open. If not, we I have think to. I they close at six. Yeah. So here is a campsite. It's pretty packed. It's the Fourth of July weekend. It is the Fourth of July weekend. Here. Oh, someone is here. Hi lovely people, so we're back. So we have a staff from the KOA. Good thing she's still here. So she's going to escort us to our site. So what usually KOA campground does. Yeah, that we don't you don't have to hunt. Well, the worst thing is, especially if you get here after dark, is trying to find your campsite because some of these campgrounds are not set up where they're labeled right. So one nice thing about KOA is this is what they do. And it really makes a huge difference in not being stressed out, trying to find your site. Of course, we usually get a pull through, which again today. And a full hookup. And a full hookup. Yes. So we do a, we're doing a pull through again today. So. It is. And it is packed. This is the only campsite they had left. So hopefully it's a good one. We don't know where we got yet. So. And once we get settled, we'll get him back to you, viewers, so that you know we're, we're going to tour the campsite. We'll show you the pools, um, the office, and other stuff. Okay, well, once we hook up, we'll be back on. So after we set up, Miles and I just uh, went out and got a quick bite to eat at a local restaurant called Cheddar's. They had all you can eat fish fry and it was uh, quite good. And they got a jumping pillow, playground for the kids. Volleyball. And they got this pit for the kids to play in, keep them corralled. Walking through the campground, we walked past this Brinkley RV. It's a toy hauler. This thing was so cool looking. I've never seen one like it before in my life. Here's the swimming pool. And the pool is right like next to this, you know, this side of the campground is set up for just tent camping. They have a little mining thing for the kids to mine for gold. They got firewoods pre-packed so you can buy it by the bundle, ice. They have bicycles for rent. Little mining station for the kids to keep
keep them preoccupied. Kind of cool. This is where the bathrooms are, general store. So now we had a prairie view, which was an awesome uh, sight. The camper was sideways, so you got a good view off to our right side of the RV of the field. And it's just wide open, so there's no, uh, you didn't see any campers directly in front of you. So it's a very nice uh, spot. Uh, site 104, if you guys have any questions. And it was about $90 a night. So uh, we packed up on Sunday because it was just raining solid. It was really raining quite heavy, so we didn't want to, we didn't get any video of that because um, we wanted to get packed up and get home before, uh, you know, the mud set in and we were pretty soaking wet from the from the morning of uh, hooking up and getting ready to go. So uh, just like and subscribe if you like this video and leave any comments below. Uh, please continue watching us to help us support our channel. And thanks a lot.